afternoon good afternoon welcome to my channel if you notice that I'm in the car and I wanted to do my devotion in the car today it's a little dark I don't know how's the weather by you because the weather is very bad I'm outside and it's raining and it's looking like it's getting a little dark but the video is gonna be a little dark and it's okay hopefully that you can hear the message you're not gonna worry about how the the, the lighting is because I, I was in here it was lighting before it's only like 5 30 and it's already dark so you see life is funny every moment every moment things change change things can change in at any given moment you can be happy right now in the next minute something bad happened you can be with someone right now the next minute the person is no longer with you this is what life is about so that's why you have to cherish every moment that you get to be with your loved ones and take every moment and do what you wanted to do in life do what makes you happy because tomorrow is not promises promised even the next hour is not promised promised so so let me get into the devotion hopefully it will get a little lighter after uh, uh, by the time I finish but it's a quick devotion the title is a sad story a sad story all you all know you all are aware of the story of of uh, David and Bathsheba but we want to talk about people who abuse their power People who abuse their power, leaders who abuse their power. Sometimes they are there are leaders who are Christians. They're sitting in the inside the church and they abuse their power. Sometimes it is people who you never thought would be abusing power. They are the one who abuse their power. So we're talking about David and Bathsheba. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly read it to you and then I'm gonna I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Pen Foley, the evil has long been swept under the rug. Sexual abuse, many of many women and men who had power over them, has come to the light. Enduring headlight after headlight, my heart sunk when I heard proof of abuse by two men I admired. The church has become, has been immune to these issues. King David faces his own reckoning. Samuel tells us that one afternoon David saw a woman bathing, which is Bathsheba. David saw Bathsheba bathing, and David wanted her. Though Bathsheba was a wife of, of his loyal soldier, so David knew that Bathsheba was, was his, his loyal soldier's wife, but he still wanted it. Because sometimes we have these desires, these evil desires that are inside of us, and we cannot fight against them. So David knew very well that this woman was taken. It was his loyal soldier, you, 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 Uriah. Uriah, who was the soldier, his, his loyal soldier. I didn't say any type of soldier, but to find a loyal person, it is very hard. So this man was loyal to David. David took her anyway. It says that David took her anyway. When Bathsheba told David she was pregnant, he panicked. He probably was wondering, oh my God. What will I tell my loyal soldier? I have I got his wife pregnant. What will I tell her him? So, and in a despicable act of treacherously, treacherously, David arranged for Joab to have Uriah dead on battlefield. There is nothing hiding David's abuse of powers against Bathsheba and Uriah. He is in full color. David ensuring we see it. We must deal with our evil. We must deal with our evil. Look at how bright it's getting, a little brighter. I'm sure you can see me much better now. So 
almost we must hear these stories because they cautious us against the abuse of power in our times this was David a man after God's own heart but also a man who needed to be held accountable for his action he need to be held held accountable for his action though David was was a man after God's own heart he he needed to be to be held accountable for his action may we also pray for hold hold leaders accountable for how they use and abuse power by God's grace redemption is possible if we read further we encounter David's profound repentance thankfully hard hearts can be still turn from death to life you see those who are in authority those who are leaders we need to pray for them because they might abuse their power for example we had an issue um, a couple of years not that long the cops the police were you abusing their power some of them they were abusing their power not only them there's a lot of parents who abuse their power over the children because they are the parents they are the head they are in charge of the kids so they abuse their powers there are uh, supervisors who are abusing their powers they get others fired because they just don't like the person they are you abusing their power so we have to pray for them i i gave an example to to in in, in my in my um in my devotion in creole how we as christian must pray for our leader we have to pray for 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 our president because he's he's in authority we have to respect him because we have to respect authority figures because god placed them in power also for us to to respect them so we must pray for them though we may not like them we may not like their ways we still have to pray for them and there's a little prayer at the end it says God I don't know what to do with all these brokens I see in my world the brokens in me will you shine your light and heal us God is the only one who can heal us look I was just talking to you and it was really dark you see things change from moment to moment from time to time you see nothing lasts forever even if you're going through something right now even if you're dealing with something it will change and this this weather is proving to me that things will always change look how clear you can see me because now the storm is over now now the storm is over we can see it i'm sorry i came from my devotion but this is the beauty of god we go through some trials we go through some tribulation but he always bring us through it he always brings us out of it so anyway i'm not gonna stay long i just want you to know that if you are and and have a uh, you have a position and your position you have you 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 are over someone you are over someone you should still show you should never never abuse your power you should never you should never you should never try to 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 manipulate people you should never abuse people because you hold a a, a certain position so i pray that this little message will help you and if you are in in any way used to abuse your power you will stop because it's not a good thing it's not something that you should continue to do thank you for spending this afternoon with me it's uh martha marslin and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and really really appreciate you and god bless you bye bye take care bye bye